But I've got something else well, to we're start not where with we're going. first. Okay. I was going to tell you something else, but I've got something else first. Road train! Road train alert! Road train! This takes Jack back to our road trip to Canberra. Just breathe. Bedwetters, as you know, we've been drilling some live shows, haven't we? Haven't you? Haven't you, haven't especially? So first time me and Lou have officially sort of been on a road trip. Uh, uh, over, you know, 45 minutes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it takes quite a long time sometimes with traffic to get to the studio. True. This was three hours. Three let's and call, a half. Let's really. call it three and a half. So we had a few stops. And it was kind of all right. Kind of. Well, I had a good time. I understand you did. Did you but not? you were but you were you were the one screaming no, every time you saw a prime really mover. I really appreciate this. Every time I saw a big train, a truck, truck. I go, Road train. You know and how many then, fucking trucks there are on the Hume? That's fucking that's what you do on a road trip though. Is right? that what you do every yeah, time? You kill yeah. time. It, oh look, there's a car. Oh, you kill time whilst you kill the little microscopic hairs in my ears that allow me and to And then Jart started to get really technical. He was like, no Lou. A road train is when they've got three little bumps. Not on even them. technical. Not three even. I just said. Bumps. I just said <laughs> little bumps. Little bumps. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, doo, yeah doo, my doo. technical terminology was they've got three little um, heinies. Yeah. Well, they do. They have got three little. <laughs> no, I just let her know that a B double or a semi trailer is not a, a road train. A road train has to have. I actually found three out three trailers or more. more. Road trains are not allowed in the city. Correct. They're only allowed on the um, freeway, highway, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, so road train, that was one of the highlights. Yeah. Now, how many piss stops did I give you? He only gave me one. Yeah, three-hour trip. You know, a couple of the punters in the crowd, when we, we asked them at one of our live shows, how many do you reckon you should get? All the girls were like, seven million. Yeah. Now you should have 40 fucking piss stops. A few of the blokes just stood there with their fists going like this, just going, looking me dead in the eye going, none. There's don't, no way you can travel one. three hours without one pisser. I, I've travel, I travel to Walker. Constantly, which is a five-hour drive no without stops. piercing. Oh, if we were travelling five hours, there'd be four. That's why we won't ever travel five hours together. Well, we will. We won't because you'll turn five into eight. I'll just say, listen, you you drive yourself. Papa Bear no. will drive. Papa Bear will drive. You have a fun little bit of time yourself. You can sing I your songs. I would not drive myself five hours. I'd hitchhike on a road train. Oh, that's be, be in the back of the hump. You'd be the start of a horror movie, wouldn't you? What's that one that goes through the middle of Australia? Road Creek. Wolf Creek. Wolf Creek. Bet there were no road trains in that. <laughs> Chill, B. Now you sit. You sit. Don't be mean. Go on, sit down. I'm not having you raise your voice today. You raised your voice in the fucking whole fucking road trip four million times. Oh, you really? I thought we had quite a good time. I did have a good time. I like yeah. to play it up a little bit. The road train shit was... Was honest. If I'm going to be honest, was truly annoying. But how good was I with music? I didn't touch your screen once. I really respected yeah. you for that. But we were talking most of the time. Yeah, we were yarning most of the time. We were. I was also actively shitting myself most of the time. You were fuck. If you you would have seen it on socials. Jarch was a terrified little boy before Mate, every single show. I know you. Like, and I like calmed you down. You did. I was like, come on, kid. But it's just. I and care. I was just giggling and dancing. I know, but it's because I care. <laughs> No, um, I care. I'm just a professional and I know how to work the room, Jack. <laughs> Not the only thing you know how to work. A pole? Ask one. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, you were great because I was I was shitting bricks. Lou, Lou, um, you know, we were both – there was a bit of anxiety in the air, I think, you know. On the way le- up. On the way up or whatever. To Canberra. But I honestly Canberra. think um, – I've got a theory. You think I'm a psychopath? I think you thrive on my pain. Oh, I do. Okay. I loved it. <laughs> it was my favourite th- thing of the whole show. Yeah, good. Like when we were, it was good to know. It happened at Canberra and then I was like, oh, he'll be sweet tomorrow. Happened again at Sydney. What? Oh, Josh yeah. Was like, Shock horror. It happened at the fucking Enmore Theatre. Josh was pacing up and down and I'm just like dancing and drinking, having a lot of fun. Josh was like, Ma- and may pacing. I say, 
Maybe a little too much. Nah. Well, oh, Sydney, uh, Sydney. <laughs> I think you were tinkering on the edge because when we were just yarning, I could tell like mama was a little tiddly. And I'm like, let's just dial this back. Let's just rain that techie soda back. But we I'm drank sure. on stage every time we drank on stage. Yeah. I tell you what, Wollongong, I was wasted when I got off the stage because everyone kept making us do shoeys and skull our drinks. Buffalo. What, yeah, what are they saying? Buffalo. Buffalo. What's that? Basically finish it. So, but why but, Buffalo? Named after buffalo mozzarella or the f- or the animal, the pokey machine. Yeah, all that. <laughs> uh, Willipedia. Why is it buffalo? Is it because it's like a stampede of buffalo? Drill it down your throat. At Wollongong, Jarch had to do a shoey and two buffaloes. Buffalo I'd- here it says it's something about uh, not having your drink in your dominant hand. Yes, so it had to be gone. Ah. Oh. Anyway, oh, so they were wrong then. Well, no, nah, they. You did two buffaloes and one shoey, and I did a buffalo and a shoey. But I was pouring them stiff. That's what I mean. That, and I, that was the mistake, yeah. We'd little, already had about five beforehand. Well, Will and Gone were a little bit looser because we'd done a, seven. We thought we were like <laughs> professional tourists by that stage. We'd done two fucking shows, and we're like, yeah, nah, we've got this down pat. And Will and Gone, we drove to Will and Gone in a limousine. We did get the limo. Our limo driver was called Nigel, and he wore it wasn't a fedora. What kind of hat was that? It was very similar. It was fedorable. It was. What, uh, uh, Nigel was a weapon. He was unbelievable. Now, let's let you know what. Let's run through these chronologically for the okay. bedwetters. Back you know? to Canberra. Let's go. So, what do we do as soon as we got to Canberra? Questacon. That is correct. And we were the oldest people there. To the point, as I said in the live show, we were so much older than than the median age in that building. I felt like at some point we were going to leave in handcuffs. Yeah, and it didn't feel appropriate. We were lining up like behind kids. Like I remember, the, do you remember there was that one and it was you had to stand still and then the lights went and, and it, it cast your shadow. Yeah, I was like waiting in line, like yeah, <laughs> like waiting to go. And then you're like, come on, go now. Like the kids are gone. I was like, I my turn. <laughs> this kid gave me a death stick. This kid, little kid, gave me a death stick because then Lou and I would get sort of separated from each other because there's so much shit. To look at, and it's all fucking cool, man. It's all science shit. There's sh- Seven no- levels of it. Yeah, lots. And what about that big moon? Anyway, yeah, we we saw the bloody. Um, I saw this the bunch of kids. They were doing the shadow game, and one of them, obviously not the brightest bulb, pulled his pants down to moon the shadow, which you can never see because it's a shadow. So it's just a sh- you're not going to see your ass, you idiot. But he pulled his <laughs> wait. What way was he doing it though? Because you could see the like, shape of it. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. To but the you could front, see like his pants. he was facing it, so you just probably just see like, like a arc because yeah. you wouldn't be able to see him anyway. I saw him moon, and he he, he saw me it's catch him, and he he goes oh like that, and I go naughty, and I he just he looked at me bloody. like what the fuck are you looking at? And I'm like that, you're the one fucking mooning, you little psycho. Don't do that in public. Imagine you're getting in a fight at Quistagon. Fuck you. Se- oh, fuck you. Seven-year-old just kicks the shit out of me. Yeah, and you're on the ground going, help, <laughs> Lou. Help me. Just get gang-bashed by fucking children. But there was – what about the um, the keyless piano where you could play the piano in the air? It was unbelievable. So it was like you could do a harp or a piano or yeah. maybe a violin or something. And so you'd go – An organ. Yeah. Well, you're not really explaining it, are you? You're just making sounds with your mouth. But if you so could the see people the who, video, you'd but see if what the I pe- mean. Well, if the people are listening in the car, you said, you go like this. So let me explain so it. it. It's, like, it's like a piece of – it's like a square box with nothing in it and there's something down the bottom that obviously <laughs> makes music. There's so obviously you, lasers. You put your hand in and it goes – so when your hand goes through, but you can't see the lasers, but obviously when your hand goes through the laser, it corresponds to a note in a piano or harp. It was pretty cool. Real cool. What else was there? Oh, well, there was the slide, but the line was too big. Slide was, yeah, the line was too big. We were going to go down the drop, the famous drop. Is it tiny? Because I just remember it being well, absolutely well, huge well, it, well, when it, I was young. It is, it is pretty it's small. It's massive. Eh, it's not that big. It was seven stories. <laughs> the drop? The <laughs> drop? <laughs> the drop was about Sorry, two metres. I thought you meant the whole of Quistagon. <laughs> oh, mate. I was like, they're not throwing nah, kids the, down a The drop was probably like, like no, I would say that the slide is probably the height of that light up there. So maybe four metres? Uh, zero, cha- zero chance. No, nah, well, you didn't go on it, so you wouldn't know. I've been on it. Yeah, when you were like fucking four. Teen? No. At 12. Yeah. So two so years. still a teen. Well, no. 
Thirteen. Okay, you obviously good. Don't listen to our podcast. Yeah, I remember someone, it. Yeah. I just thought maybe you'd forgot, haven't forgotten your mistake. No. So then we did our first show at the at University of Canberra. Yep. Now that was the reason. Bedwet is the reason I was so nervous. Not only do I care so much about the the, the show. Me, like I was nervous, but I'm just a. You don't I, care I like the it show. a bit more. Yeah, don't care about the show. Well, you're more of a traditional performer. Extrovert. You've you've Correct. I mean, you've performed to women on their deathbed, Louisa. I exactly. Think. I don't know if you remember this. I used to do speech and drama all the time, Jack. I yeah. was the lead in many plays. Yeah, you're a bit more extroverted than I am. Yes. It's okay. You're allowed to be a little skinny cow. I don't mind. Keep it up. It's good. I think nerves are good, though. Yeah, I was I was a bit nervous. I'm Keeps not like, ready. Keeps you I'm fucking not like fucked. walking out. The first one, I wasn't like, yeah, like, I was nervous, but you were just a little bit more nervous. Than I me. A little loved bit. the video of you just standing there watching the line get bigger oh, yeah. and bigger <laughs> and bigger and so good. wig out more oh, and more. <laughs> it was just, there was so much going on up here. Like, I, I, it was just crazy. And the reason, partially the reason was, once we do our own live shows, as we've discussed, people are there. People are there to see us. Three quarters of the crowd, probably more, were not there to see us. We had a fuckload of bedwetters in every show, which was such a relief. Yeah, because we interacted with the bedwetters, yeah, which was great. Which was great, and that. some super soakers. Yeah, but people are there to see Coxie. And what did the birds say to you afterward? That old bushy behind her fucking hated Oh, it. yeah, there was this young girl and she like came up and was like, can you sign my sign, Lou? And then she said that there was a man who was like 70 behind her and was like, who the fuck are these two? Get them off. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's what we're after, kid. But you got to expect that. You oh, know? yeah. So that was we're where not everyone's cup of tea. Nah. Shout out to Lee, my only mate that came to the Canberra show. Oh, yeah. What, the nicest guy in the whole no, world? Literally the nicest. He kept going to Jarch and I... I'm so proud of you guys. Yeah. And I was like. Not American. He's Australian. Okay, right. Yeah. Uh, I'm so proud. No. No, it's just Australian. Anyway, I'm so proud of you guys. There we go. And he was just so <laughs> nice. He's the he's my nicest friend. Like so nice. Lee is so nice that when I first met him fucking be nearly 15 years ago, I was under the impression he was taking the piss out mm. of me. I could see that. Because he was like, dude, he'd just be like, oh, dude, you, fuck. You That's got, American. No, he's like, dude, you got the coolest clothes, dude. He's like, oh, man, I've heard so much about you, dude. Like, you're the sickest cunt, man. Fuck, I'm glad to meet you today. Like, this is so nice to meet you. And I'm thinking, like, that being the grade A cynic that I am, that this guy yeah, is teasing me. He's you. teasing me. And I'm like, why is that guy fucking teasing me? And they're like, no, 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 that's Lee. He He's the nicest guy of all time. Is it? L E E or L E I G H? It's L E E E E G H I. Liar. No, Leagy. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. It's Greek. Which one is it? Leagy. The how I just spelt it is how you. Don't sp fuck with me today. Why not? Because. Hub. I'm not kissing you either. See, bae. <laughs> it, it's L E E. E. Mm, he reminds e. me more of e. an L E I G H. <sighs> Don't you reckon? No. L E E is a bit too old for me. Reminds me of someone like 70. Oh, I would argue that the L E I G H is, would be the older. Well, maybe I'm thinking of who's that s singer or actor, Tommy Lee Layton Jones? Layton Meester. Oh. Oh. Tommy Lee Jones is L E E. Yep. Uh, forget what I'm saying. Yeah, usually a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm not kissing you. Okie dokie. And then we went to Sydney, back to Sydney. <sighs> so, the the Enmore. Enmore, so Unbelievable stadium. Well, theatre. Uh, theatre. Mate, how beautiful. Like, it's stunning. And that we've got the forum in Melbourne this Friday, and yep. that's just it's very similar. You know what that sounds beautiful. like? Beautiful. Sounds like um someone that really can't make up their mind. Let's forum say, for, let's say forums. Um. Um, um, or four. Um, four. Or it's a theatre named after One P. Four. Four. <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Clap for me, mummy's bitches. Get, mummy's getting slick with it. Thank you. Mummy's getting slick with it. Thank that's you. that's better than mine. Mm. Four arms. Now, fuck! I wish I thought of that. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. Okay, up, up, up. I'm not up, up, upping you. So we went 
So we did the MOL Theatre. Now, last time I think, I believe the last time I was at the MOL was watching Combs, he opened for Darius Rucker. There. We reckon we were in his um, changing room. I agree, because Darius Wood was the main actor. He would have had the fucking main changing room. What about those changing rooms that are literally like, you go in there and they've got the light bulbs around the mirror? Yeah, we were And famous. you're full fucking like. And it said we mean well on the door. It said we mean well on the door. And there was some um, whiskey, tequila and some limes sitting there for us. C- well, we, we made it a part of our rider. We had a rider. That's how, pretty cool. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. So they were like, you've got a rider. What do you guys want? And all we asked for on our rider was whiskey and tequila. So at every show, we'd have a bottle I of whiskey. Might ask for some lollies as well on Friday. You can. We've got Mate, a rider. You could ask for a cheese putter. You can get your thick, <gasps> chunky cheese and jerk. I'm going to ask for thick, jerk. chunky yep. cheese and jerk. Oh, that's snakes. pretty easy, yeah. And some snakes. I just go, I want the freshest sashimi yeah. from Norwegia. Yeah. No- Norwegia. Norwegia. Yeah. Yeah. Norway. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Norwegia. I like it. Norwegia. Norway? Yeah. Norway. Um, so we, 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 we did that. Now, one of the most – well, there's been a bit on at these fucking live shows and a lot of the fucking bedwetters are fairly wild. Had Matty Warden come up and do karaoke. We've been doing karaoke oh, live yeah, shows. Oh, yeah, that was cool. Beautiful voice, she's doesn't she? She's got an unbelievable voice. She's a friend of mine. I don't know why she wanted me to join in. Her voice is like – Gorgeous. Phenomenal. Also, good. I, I, yours is there. You've got one, put it that way. A voice. Um, I am now a, a celebrant to one of the bedwetters. That's right. Weddings. But Jack, you know what will happen? They'll DM you and you won't see it. And I said happen. to them that I've, we've transferred numbers and I've said that so the number's probably better and also business email. Still won't help. Well, it's going to happen. So anyway, I've agreed to that. Sorry, so that's guys, something it, that's happening. It, you know what will happen? He'll say yes and then he won't turn up on the day. <laughs> that is not how I play cricket. Now. But one, there will be crickets when you're doing the cell, Fritzy, because yep, you'll be all right. shit. Okay. All right. She's pretty slick today. I'll give it to her. I would argue one of the coolest things at that show, forgive me, mate, because I don't remember your name. He came up to you before and came up to me after. The bloke from fucking New Zealand yeah, who flew from New Zealand for the show. just for the show and then was flying back the next morning. I'm so How happy fucking, we got to meet him and get a photo with him. Dude. He was so nice. I, I actually couldn't wrap my head around that. I know. That. So, mate, shout like, out Not to, even our show either. I, like, I, I know. I know. So that was fucking pretty cool. Been rapping nerdy, bruh, at everyone. Yep, we have. Fucked up the lyrics on the first night. Throwing some pipes, did you? Yep. How did how'd the rap song go with the country crowd? Actually, Mate, very well. Pretty well. It, like, one of the blokes, um, what, so Coxie was up there. He's like, I'm going to watch the end of their show, you know, because there was a bit of a break before Coxie come on. And he was with these rep. He signed to Warner Music and he was with the rep from Warner Music. Apparently, the bloke from Warner Music goes to Coxie. He goes, So is this bloke like a rapper or what's the go? And Coxie's like, No, he just, he was hung over one day and fucking made, made this rap up to just so he didn't fall asleep in the car. And apparently the bloke goes, so I'm hoping for a record deal with Warner Music after this. He goes, Probably. mate, I've signed that many fucking artists that are way shitter than this cunt at fucking rapping. <laughs> and I'm like, Warner. Imagine that if you got signed. Give us a rap. Well, I'd have to be your hype girl. Yeah. Well, you can't have chinless without eight-year-old Luke. Correct. Duh. You know what I mean? The whole fact of me being chinless is I need some chins on stage. True. You know what I mean? Too true, queen. Two chins. Um, two chins. Like two chains. Or, Two chin, huh? We stick together like chinless and eight year old Lou. Uh, it's look, I do some, with some work, but I respect it's kind it. of there. So that we did the M more. That was a really that was a wild one. I think finishing at the forum will be fucking unbelievable it, as well. It will that be. Theater is gorgeous. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Never been, but from what I've googled and what everyone tells me. What I liked about the M more show though, Dale, is that for Canberra show we were up and out at six thirty the next morning. We had to fucking come back, film shit, and then we had that show the same night. So we had to be out of there. So we didn't really – we drank during the show, but after that it was done. We knocked off, went to sleep. And more, it was like we're with the band backstage yeah. afterwards. You know what I mean? It yeah, was, that was fun. And then we got to watch it off stage as well. Yeah, that like was we cool. just peeking through. <laughs> Cox, Cox, he comes back. He's just finished. He's full of adrenaline. He's finished the show. Woo! And they must have this thing where him and the band have 20 minutes in the locker, their change just room. Just them, right? <coughs> so I hear them coming down and I'm like, fuck yeah, let's go have a drink with them in the change room. So I walk in. You guys were still in our little changing room or whatever. 
I walk in. Coxie walks in with the thing and he goes, you need to fuck off. I go, what? He goes, mate, 20 minutes. I need you to fuck off for 20 minutes. With just me and the band. And I was like, yeah, cool, mate. All right, yeah, sweet. I actually remember that you, because Saturday night, sorry, Friday, Friday night in Sydney was me, you, Wumpy, Wumpy and, and Ed Liston. Yep. And I remember you came back in and you're like, we're not allowed in there yet. Yep, and I just, was like, what? And you're you, like, you weren't allowed in there yet. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, fuck off. And I was like, yeah, that's fine, mate. I get it. I get it. And then he come up afterwards and he goes, um, he goes, Jesus. He goes, mate, I, I'm so sorry if that was like really rude to, to you. He's like, I'm just full of fucking, I'm like, no, mate. Yeah. You You're like, dude, I get it. I've been on stage. I get it, mate. I get I, the adrenaline. I get the rush, mate. You know what I mean? I just performed Nerdy Bra Bra. I get it. I totally get it. If anyone came up to me, I'd fucking, they'd be ducking punches. But it was fucking yeah, fun. Yeah, it was cool to watch. And then- Saturday, obviously, with the Wollongong show and coming back in the limo, we had to leave straight away as well. Had to leave as well, well. yeah. But Friday will be good. We'll watch the whole thing rip in. Wollongong. What did we think? I've never been in a limo before. So now that's the only way I want to travel. I'm not I've going done myself anywhere. in. We have to get to the podcast in a limo now. We should literally hire Nigel to drive us to and from I the love podcast. I Nigel. <coughs> every week. Bro, that fucking limo, that, it was so fun. I know. I uploaded a story of all of us, like, everyone was like, it was like seven seconds, everyone's like singing and dancing or whatever. I had so many people reply to it being like, this was a tough watch. Because you know when you're in something oh, and it's so yeah. fun, but then when you post it, everyone's yeah. like, Ugh. Yeah, it's like, like when a bunch of um, girls are at like a big girls lunch and they all start singing like, tag me home, and yeah. they're just screaming in the restaurant. And, and everyone's like, shut like, up. But they're having so much fun. That's Correct. what we were. That was us. You guys were woo girls. We were literally we were girls. But it was so fun. And then where do we get dropped off? Bondi Royal. R- R- Royal That's and Bondi. That's the problem. Once you hop out of the limo, it all kind of fizzles. Yeah, we had a bit of fun at the Royal. Then we went back to Shardy's place for a bit. But You it, know, like I would have just preferred Nigel to drive us around for another two hours. I would have loved just to be driven around. For he offered two. it. What, did, what was that going to cost us? I think it was another three or four hundred for like another hour and a half. <sighs> I would have done it. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I've it, actually got 150 cash from One Piece Pokey winnings. Really? Yeah. Well, I think I spent some of it. Yeah. But I've got a, probably maybe forty dollars left. Thanks, Wumps. Thanks, Wumps. It was um look, it's been a whirlwind crew. So shout out to Coxie and the whole crew, Adam and everyone. Yeah, it's been and so his good. band. They've been so great. We've got one show left this uh Friday. Friday the twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. The four of us a promo. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> And Friday. we're usually on about 7.45, but yep. it does vary to 8. So I'd suggest getting there at 7.30 just in case. Yeah, yeah. Doors open usually around 7.30. So go to bradcox.com. <coughs> I am bradcox.com, I believe, to find tickets. You and if you want to come and see us, it's been a really fun time. Our last show with Coxie. Um, and then you got Knuckles. Shout out to Knuckles from CTC Doing taking Queensland. over for the Queensland League. How many Queensland imagine. shows? I think there's two or three. You don't know. <coughs> Well, I guess. That was a lie. Yeah, it was. But um, we've had a great time, haven't we, Lila? Oh, it's been so fun. Be sad to be done with the travel of the tour. Yeah, it's... To be fair, like, we joke and it's all fun and games. Like, it's actually wild how much it takes it out of you. Like, afterwards, we had this, like, adrenaline high, and then we were, like, so... T- cause it's oh, like the you- adrenaline high afterwards is, like, nothing else. It's fucked. But then I was like... Remember how fucking tired I was driving back on the Friday? Didn't stop you screaming in my fucking Yo, ear. Oh, train. Yeah, like it actually is wild how much energy it takes doing that for like 45 minutes. I think like especially with um, the nervous energy leading into it, yeah. <laughs> fucking you're just tense and nervous. You get out there and you fucking do the show, then you leave and you're on a full high. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're sort of like... I'm very tired today. That, that's why I was like, you know, those light bulb mirrors? It's like you do the whole thing, everyone's, yeah, that was so fun, blah, 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 blah. And you walk off stage, you're like, yoo-hoo, woo-hoo. And then you just see like yourself taking your clown makeup off in that light bulb mirror. Like, like hello, <laughs> darkness, my old friend. It's over. They don't care about me anymore. <laughs> you know, real dark. Anyway, that's, just, that's an freak. insight into my brain. Right. Yep, 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 yep. Right. But it's been fucking good, man. So much fun. So excited for Friday. We'll rip in one last time and then mm-hmm. 
kids eat. You got an early flight, don't you? On the well, Saturday? I've got an MC a wedding the next day. What time's the flight? Oh, I booked it for you. It's at ten, Jack. Thank you, Louisa. Just so you know. Thank you, Louisa. So you'll be back by eleven thirty-five. That's good. Wedding starts at twelve. You haven't left much time, kid. Why? For delays. I imagine there's a delay. No, I think the wedding starts at three. Okay. I think. Fuck me. You should double Yeah, it does that. start. You know, anyway, fuck. Who, we'll figure it out. Um, the, uh, but the, speak. Uh, nah, actually, you know what? I'm not going to rinse airlines right now. I'll just get myself cranky. Nah, don't. I'll get real cranky. Just, yeah. But they fucking charged me $1,000 two or don't three times for no it, reason. Jack. Now I've got to call these cunts yeah, up. Yeah, why haven't you called them yet? That's on you, kid. Do you know what I watched last night? Mm-hmm. I watched on TikTok a video of 40,000 people singing Sweet Caroline. You know how cool that is? Just like a big crowd. Everyone's like screaming at it or whatever. Yeah. I started crying. No, you didn't. I started crying at it. At Sweet Caroline. And I couldn't Ooh. tell if it was happy or sad tears. Interesting you couldn't tell that. <laughs> what? What? Like I was like crying. I was like, this is <laughs> How epic. do you not know? This is epic, but I was like in a sad mood. So I was like, is, am I crying because this is happy or am I crying because this is sad? I've never ever had the compulsion to cry at something happy oh what in my that is so bizarre to me i i'm what? not much of a crier but if i do cry it's like a <laughs> what what you actually know i'm not <laughs> you know i'm not <laughs> but if i do it's like a really ugly cry it's like a mm. look, look look I've never seen one person where they're crying and I'm like, geez, they look fucking good. Kim Kardashian? <laughs> when, she's in, when she's in the ocean and she's going, my diamond earring. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, fuck she doesn't. That she's like this. Family. Yeah, she does. I don't think anyone is particularly attractive when they're crying. You know what I mean? I think mine's particularly ugly though. Give us a, you take any photos of it? No. Well, it looks like you've lied to me just then, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Show me a photo. Maybe we'll pop this up on no, the No, we will fucking not. <laughs> I think this will actually make you sad seeing this. Oh, okay. you might laugh. Let's see. <laughs> Can I? Show me a look at it. <laughs> it's not very pretty, is it? Why did you take a photo of that? Because I was just like, how do, and I was like, no. Oh. You know, have you have you seen Amanda Bynes recently? Yes. That kind of reminded me of her. <laughs> Not sure about that, Jake. Not sure about that. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, for right. some reason. Thanks. Well, it's a pleasure. I'm here to compliment. All day, er day. Er damn day. Er so day. <laughs> Thanks so much for that. Bit of Bynes in that. Right. Just a bit of Bynes. Right. Look. Gender binds? Don't be bitter at binds. There's a bit of binds in that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Happy crying to me is a bizarre phenom phenomenon. You cry at your wedding. No, I fucking won't. Are you serious? I'll be very angry if one piece not crying when I'm walking down the aisle. That is madness that you think I would cry at you someone. You will. Walking down the aisle? Yes. Have you not seen the TikToks? Do TikTok? you know me? Have you not seen the tickety talks? I have seen a few, and I'm to me look, and I love, I love it. I think it's great. It's just not me. I think I'm not going to see Steph in a white dress and start crying. I think something will come over you. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. It's my wedding day. Jesus Jack. Christ! I want to be clean. It'll be the other way around at the end of the day. <laughs> well, hey. <laughs> you're both consummation. Sick. No, Look, I think you will get a bit. You know what you'll get. I won't cry. Yet. It may be maybe during my speech there might be some emotion. I reckon you, know? you might well up when you see her coming towards you because the, yeah. the magnitude of the situation. Do you will, can't want to stand in. here and make a fucking bet right now? Let's do it. Yep. I bet you a big tough guy. Eh? Three hundred bucks each. A thousand dollars. Yeah, big tough guy. Eh? Yeah, I'm a big tough guy. I'm not doing it unless guy, it's yeah. a thousand. I bet you three. I bet you five hundred each. So a thousand total. And what do we have to give you? Five hundred each. You fucking nah. idiots. Nah, you dude, because now you're going to go out of your way to not cry. You're just like, he's going to go, guys, he'll be out guys, there. I'm in touch with my emotions. I'm not. Yeah, you're not. But, but I, I can guarantee you, I just won't cry at Steph in a wedding dress, mate. You'll probably be up there and then go, oh, dude, look at that. That's a fucking bird over there. Or if yeah, I do start crying, I'll be like, oh, see her. I'm like, fuck, no, I've just had a sore knee all yeah, morning. Yeah, busted my, my knee shoulders open. out again. Broker <laughs> came here again. Fuck. 
Why are you going to bring Groper Sorry. into my beautiful wedding day? Shout out to the Reggies for that great comment, though. Very good stuff. Still see you can't punch. Because you punched the screen. I beg your pardon? While I was dancing, you yeah, punched yeah, the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of dancing. Hello there, bedwetters. We hope you're enjoying this episode. We mean well. We wanted to let you know that it could not be possible without our new friends at Ned's. Uh, that's right, Lulu. And thanks to Ned's, we want to take a moment to talk a little bit about entertainment confusion. Entertainment confusion? You know those moments when you're watching a movie or a show and then you suddenly realise you just have no idea what's going on? Or like those TikToks and you're watching it and you're like, what is going on here? Am I so out of touch? Like, why, why can I not understand this? Mate, I'm with you. I just finished watching a show that you literally needed a PhD just to watch. I was like, who is this guy? What's he doing? Wasn't he dead two episodes ago? Why are they I, here? I was completely lost. Uh-huh. Jachi, not everything has to be hard though. Not everything has to be difficult. Neds have our back. They've got their new Neds Bet Tracker, which means you can keep track of your bets in a very easy way. That's right, Lulu. With the Neds app, you can easily track how your multi or same game multi is performing for any NRL or AFL game. Whether you're watching at home or out with your mates, Neds got you, it's got you covered. Neds has got you covered, buddy. Could not have said a bit of myself, Jack. Head to the Neds app now to bet it out. And remember, chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, visit gamblinghelponline.org.au. We got some good content out of the live shows, didn't we? We did. You know? We didn't get much on the limo, though. I think that's because Mummy and Daddy were pretty drunk. I think it's pretty safe to say we shouldn't have. Yeah. The, um, the, the fucking videos that we did, because I was like, we should do this video where we, where we get the crowd involved. Oh, kind of hard to wrangle a pretty drunk fucking cowboy crowd. Tell too, me by the way. about it. Well, like we just need relative silence. We'd pick someone from the front and say this. We'd say, "How'd you like the show? That was fucking shit." And then everyone boo. But like people can't help it, so they just, just keep be like screaming. Well, he's fucking hot. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. But people saw the video. Like Dad called me and he goes, "Hey, you go, mate." I said, "Good." He goes, hey, "How'd your bloody how'd your shows go?" I said, "Good, good, mate." He goes. What's the bloody thing they bloody f- booing you? Hey? People don't realise it's a joke. Yeah, which I was is like, it's phenomenal. We, that was calculated, Dad. He's like, fucking, thank God I was thinking, bloody Jesus, I must have gone shit. We'll do that other idea I said for Melbourne. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah. My but favorite yeah, it was part of that video, though, is when you duck down to go, oh, how do I turn this here? And you just hear one guy in the back go, fuck, fuck you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite bit, too. Uh. That's my favorite bit. That was at the Canberra show. So good. It dude. was so clear. It was, wasn't fuck it? You. Fuck, fuck you. <laughs> Cut straight through the crowd. Eat shit. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun, man. It's been a fucking whirlwind few mm. weeks, hasn't it? I'd like to sleep for a few days. Um, how was having Wumpy here on the on the podcast crew? Actually, oh, just fun. I thought we should give him, him a fucking shout out, dude, because yeah. he was he was a natural, like he fucking had, I agree. had always done a podcast. Like, I yeah. agree, he was it's so weird. good. Yeah, we should be worried for our jobs, Jack. Do you know what I? Think I Wumpy I, and Steph are going to start a podcast. I should be worried for my job because I forgot. So when I'd see a reel come up on Insta, it'd be you it talking, you. then it jumped to Wumpy. And it was just like a better looking version than me. <laughs> you know what I was pissing I was like, my, pissing myself at is people were people were commenting being like, fuck, he's trying to be like Judge. I'm like, no. No, no, no. He's just like quite similar. No. Like you have the same sense of humour. Mate, I fucking love that cunt. I, I actually and then, I, I'll be honest with you. I know, I get why you're with him. I can't get enough of him. <laughs> I cannot get enough Me of either, dude. I was going to say, what's he doing next week? When Let's he was shaking him his ass again. in the limo. Oh, he's, he's such hilarious. a weapon. When did he moon? Oh, yeah, he mooned us after that dinner. Yeah, he, he loves He loves mooning, doesn't he? He's got something. It's because he's got a bare ass. Yeah. yeah he's he, got a hairy ass. He mooned ass. everyone in the limo. <laughs> he walked out of the restaurant, a fully packed Italian restaurant. Yeah. We were at dinner there the other we Thursday night. We told the story. Oh, we spun it. Yeah. Fucking moon the whole mob. Yeah, what do you say? Like, yeah, hey, buddy, good feet, buddy, pistachios, or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> Terrazio. <laughs> oh, do you know what else my other favourite comment uh, is, Jarch? People keep going, knew she always had feelings for Jarch. She said they're the same person. Because I said something about how you and him both like to look at reels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and everyone's like, I knew she fucking liked Jarch. That's the internet, I'm baby. Like, cunt. <laughs> that would be like getting with my big brother. That's well, disgraceful. Not where I'm from. True. Kiss yeah. me. Walker is all about the incest. Yeah. I also think a lot of the comments are probably from people who haven't met a lot of bushies. Yeah. So they don't know there's a lot of similarities. There's, oh, there's yeah, probably so many that. people like Wumps and Jarch. Well, yeah, where a dime a dozen white yeah. cunts with fucking beards yeah. from the bush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a buckload of us. But no, thank you to Wumps. He, yeah, that was great. great. Thank it was you, so bro. funny because obviously he does like, you know, 12-hour days on the tools and then works in the office all night. 
And he goes to me after the podcast, he was like, I'm exhausted, Lou. He was like, I don't know how you do that. He was like, I fully have a like newfound respect for it. But there is a because it takes a different kind of energy, I, mate. I would, uh, I've, I'd, uh, I think I've said this on the potty before, but I would rather do a seven to six day work on a farm than a seven to six day work in an office. Yeah, because I like at least the farm. Like you're physically exhausted, you sleep well. I reckon with mental exhaustion. It like fucks your sleep. Mm. You know what I mean. You you fu- you're way more fucked. I reckon. I agree. You know. Also with physical labor, there's some sort of like like going to the there's gym a physical or exercise, benefit to there's it. Like a, you feel Adrenal good. Yeah, bro. Rush. You do. You Adrenal. know. Adrenal. Sorry. Adrenaline. Adrenaline rush. Chilpy. Chilpy chipolatas. What's with all the chilping around? He's wearing a little vest. Excuse me, senorita. Looks like a little um bulletproof vest. In case someone comes in here. Well, I hope no one shoots Chilby Chilby. Oh, me too. Chil- Chilby or Chilps. 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 Lulu goes surfing on Google Chrome. On Google Chrome. Wow. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. First one. I saw, you You might know some of these. I know the words, but I didn't actually know the meaning. So it was slang words my daughter taught me. Uh, Do you know how there's all those ones and it's like. Oh, I'll be lost here. Yeah, I know. I hear them, but I actually had no idea what any of them meant. So I'm going to read them out and you can have a guess what they mean. All right. Sigma. That mean isn't that something to do with like fucking being an alpha male or some shit? Or is that, I don't know. No, it means good. So you're like, oh, that's so Sigma. Like that's Sigma. Like are you saying it to your mum? Sigma. 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 What? Okay, why? Then. Why? I've got no idea. Don't ask questions. Oh, okay. Don't yeah. ask any questions. You know what? I'll refrain from speaking. Yeah, that would be good. We'll make this a monologue. Skibbity, 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 skibbity. What do you think? Isn't that, that a cartoon? I think it's skibbity. Skibbity. I don't think it is skibbity. What is it, Felix? You know this stuff, you weirdo. Skibbity. Well, you know it, can't. So tell us. Skibbity. Skibbity. Okay, skibbity. What do you think it means? Is it a character? No. What is it? Means bad. Fuck these cunts. Can't you just say bad? Riz. That's when you're trying to fuck a bird. Boy. It's short for charisma. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right up your alley. Or they've put here romantic. Yeah, when you're rizzing riz. someone up, you, they want to. You got the riz or whatever. Okay, cap. What do you think cap means? It means you're lying. Well done, Jack. Thank you. Very good, aren't you? Thank you. Um, now, I don't know if this is like you say the letters or if this is a gayet or is it G-Y-A-T? Yeah. Yet. Is that like, is that Tobbs over there? Yeah. Tobbs. Okay, we've got lots of trendy Hello, people sweetheart. in the studio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that a fucking, like a gun sound? Means booty. She got that booty. Oh. He got that booty. Oh, okay. She got that fucking. Tobbs said it's just short for, yeah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> she got that big bunda. Um, okay, mogging. Mogging. Yeah. Uh, kissing. Looking better than someone. So people would say that Wumpy oh, looked I'm better than you, you in that chair. Oh, damn it. Okay. Dude, fuck, I got mogged by Wumpy. Yeah. Damn it. Mogging. Um, and last one, Pookie. Surely you know Pooks. That's got to be like a little love. Someone slang. you love. Yeah, okay. My Pookie. Pookie is looking quintessentially awesome today. What is isn't Pookie. Oh, that's Pookie. You know, yeah, that's Oh, Pookie. Moldy Pookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Moldy for Tum Tum. Where the fuck is that cunt in these little He's Pookie? He's still going. Is he? I think they just went really viral for a while and now they're not popping up on the FYP so much. Yeah, well, there's only so many times I can see Pookie looking fucking d- d- delectable in a dress. They're having a baby. Are they? Yeah. Little Pookie. Pooks. Pookie is looking quintessentially awesome with her baby bump. <laughs> okay. Good one, I like that. Thanks so much. Next headline reads, British man lived to sit... Hold fire. British man lived to 78 without realising he had three penises all of his life. What the fuck? Run, run, run me, me through, through that, Yeah, kid. yeah, 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 yeah. It was only when he was 78, donated his body to medical science, that it was discovered he had a hat trick hidden in his private region. <laughs> He just thought he just thought all cocks were supposed to. How be would like you not notice three peenies? Wait. Did he not have testicles or something? So maybe he thought the other ones were bollocks. It says remarkable <laughs> yeah. and an a- anatomical variation. So there were three hanging. Bro, imagine having well, a foursome with like, three cocks. 
No, I reckon it that must That would be have the been, greatest time. It must have been a big one and then like two littles hidden behind the bulls or something. <laughs> Jesus. Like an octopus of cocks. Three penises. <laughs> it's like a little, he like rocks off. He, no, so he cocks off or which one he's going to wake with. <laughs> it's a cock off. It's like having reins. <laughs> Who's going where? <laughs> yeah, or like controls of an aeroplane. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. What would you do with three cocks, Willie? I'd achieve a lot, I think. You know, I'd like to think I would, but I don't think I would. Because I think I'd be like, hey, ladies, I've got three cocks. And they'd be but like, I don't gross. think they were three of the same size. <laughs> I think it was one big and two like little ones. Yeah, well, if you didn't know about it, then you'd have to assume. But like, I, I, any photos? No photos. Love to see a photo. He was dead. That makes it even more enticing. <laughs> Yeah, that's disgraceful. <laughs> okay, I saw this one on Facebook, so who knows if it's true? Well, who knows if any of these are true? The biggest preserved poop of a person that has ever been found. It was from a Viking in the 9th century AD. It's now worth 39,000. It's eight inches long and two inches wide. You weren't a Viking in the. That's it, Jack. That's you were a, never a Viking. That's a big poop. What the fuck were they eating? Did they? I think they, the researchers figured out that they were just a mainly a meat diet, and they had a lot of like intestinal worms due to the fact that their meats weren't that great. Of course, back wild in the day. fucking meat. It's yeah. disgraceful. Eight inches long. How how wide? Two inches. How many centimeters is eight inches? Twenty something. <gasps> that's almost a ruler. Mm-hmm. Well, that, he was probably the ruler of the shit. That's zero point one of a beeble. Twenty point three two. There you go. Get. Fucked. I don't know that. How do you reckon I knew that? Measuring your own cock. Sorry. Imagine that falling out in your toilet. Yuck. <laughs> I can imagine. I don't like going. It'd like climb up half the bowl. Yeah. It would touch <laughs> you. <laughs> Literally, you and the toilet would be forever connected. Like you'd be connected for a Yuck. while. Yuck. You have to abseil down off do the thing. Do you think it was the meat? Aren't you on a meat diet? <laughs> oh, look, I've said I was, but you know, mate, I've been. Yeah, uh, I noticed on our road trip you're having a few sandwiches. Couple well, of mate, it's kind of, it's a bit hard, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's something you probably do when you're not in like silly season. Yeah, it's you know? a bit tougher when you're on the road. And I agree. Thank you, mate. We've just had a delivery. What'd you order, Willie? Oh, oh, nice. Oh, he put his pre-workout to have a big poop. Fuck, that's it. What's the... Don't you fucking ask that. I know what you're going to ask. Refrain, Jack. You don't What's ne- the biggest poo you've ever done? No. <sighs> Lou? Who knows that? But they used to call you Pooeza Delden. They did not. Do you have like one day where you knew you did a massive one? Yep. Yuck! And I was like, "Hold!" And it was, it was, it 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 was from good to water. I can we not, <laughs> please? That's referred to as a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, correct. It felt like it was like an elephant drinking from a from a lake. Yuck! Yuck! <laughs> yuck! <laughs> okay, I'm moving on to one last. Yeah, you know, there's an image for you, bed wetters. Enjoy your enjoy yeah. your morning morning drive to work, kids, while you're Everyone's eating a, bur- eating a breaky breakfast. burrito. You know what a breaky burrito looks like? Don't. A breaky burrito. Or your like a regular burrito, just a bit different. Sorry? Okay. This headline reads, Man miss Oh, for fuck me. You're okay, buddy. Did you say for fuck me? Yeah. <laughs> That's not a saying. <laughs> Whatever. It's either fuck me no. or for fuck's sake. <laughs> no, for fuck me. I'm bringing that back. I'm bringing it in. For fuck me. Okay. Oh, for fuck me. Missing man accidentally joins search party to look for himself. (laughs) So a man in Turkey has joined his own search party after wandering in a forest. He was drinking with his friends and he went missing. He came across the search party, joined in, only to realise they were looking for him him when they called out his name, to which he responded, I am here. (laughs) Like roll call in class. If you don't mind me saying, he sounds like a... uh Bit of a turkey himself. <laughs> <laughs> Shut I hate up who and I kiss am. me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mate. That's a that's. A I've good. read a few of those articles where people have gone missing and then joined the search party. How? Yeah, I don't know how. Like, well, if there's drinking involved, yes, yeah. true. Yeah, but I've seen ones where they're dead sober. <laughs> 
How the fuck would that work? What do you mean? Surely it's a pretty quick search when they're like, Jeremy, and you're like, huh? Well, if you're not very self-aware, no. maybe you don't know. Maybe you think there's another Jeremy. They could. They might yeah, join true. the search party at the end, though. You know? <laughs> I actually anyway. love the thought of that. I'm just thinking about it. I love the thought of that. Do you just some drunk cunt. He wakes up, he's like, well... Uh, Sees so a big like thinks it's yeah. a hike, oh, a group oh, hike. I'll do my bit. No, I'll do me bit. <laughs> so she <can. laughs> Guys, I'm here. I'm at the back. <laughs> Cheers, ah. Cheers. You just Rick called in reinforcements of three thousand people to find you. You're just blind drunk. It would be the only way I can see that being confusing if your name was Emu Bob. That was your nickname. Emu Bob. Yeah. Because if they're screaming, Emu Bob, it just looks like you're doing an Emu Bob. That was shit. Do you know what an Emu Bob is? No. Well, then how the fuck do you know it's shit, Louisa? Because I just felt it in my loins. Oh, Louisa. I don't even know what that means. Loinsiza. Road train. Shut the fuck up. I've got some characters for you. Please. Daddy's got a few carries. And I actually like what I've done with these ones. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Cool. Remember when I was on the oh, phone to the me. dentist? And you kept being, I kept being like, okay, oh. cool. <laughs> and every time we were in the car and Jart, every time I'd speak, I'd be like, awesome, cool. Okay, cool. Thanks. And then Jart was she taking say, the piss out of me. Yeah, because she just kept going, oh, cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. She, Dude, she said cool so much. I was like, you got to be fucking, I thought she was fucking with no, me. No, it's because then you got in my head. So I was going, fuck, I can't think of anything else to say, but cool. Yeah, so then she goes, oh, okay, and then didn't say something. And then the next one she goes, oh, yep, awesome. And I was like, awesome. <laughs> and then Everything. I ended up telling the dentist, I said, Josh is taking the piss out of me for saying cool so much. I'm trying to play it cool here. That's right. And he goes, what, you're friends with Jack Arshdell? He goes, holy shit. Oh, no, he goes, pick that cool. man out of the car. Right. He's a piece of shit. Right. Okay, characters, do a little jingle for your characters, would it's you? It's time for the characters that no one knows what it's going to be. Yep, okay, and let's get a rhyming scheme in there somewhere. It's time for the Kazas. We might get a Wazza from Bundaberg. Me. Okay, Bundaberg and Whoa. me don't rhyme. <laughs> but it's a great I'm attempt. Tired. It's a great attempt. It's late. It is not. It, it is. is literally mid-morning. Um <clears throat> You're a publican that barely has any alcohol. So every time I ask you for a drink, you try and convince me on something else that you do have. So I'm going to play this one with you. All right? Wait. You're basically a pub with no beer. Shout out. A pub with no beer. So you're a pub with, you've got very little alcohol. You're just trying, you're just trying to run this pub, but you're running out of grog. I'm and going to ask you for drinks and you're going to try and convince me to get something else. You know okay. what I mean? Without letting me know that you don't have that drink. Yeah. G'day mate, how are you? Hey, good cobber, you? <laughs> no, really good cob. Um, mate, I was just looking for a, uh, mate, I was looking for a Forex. Forex, Forex. Mate, have you ever tried um, Coca-Cola? <laughs> oh, I have, yeah. I reckon there's a there's a new way of the future where people are people are going people are going sober movement. How about a Coca Cola, mate? I've come to a, I didn't come to a pub to fucking be sober. It's like going to a car wash to fucking chuck mud on it. Um, you look you look a bit hungry. How about a schnitty? <coughs> Sorry, I'll mate. add gravy yeah. and chips for free. Jesus Christ. Okay, forget the forex. Jesus, <sighs> Can I just, I'll just get a rum. I'll just get a rum and coke. That makes you happy. I'll get a rum and coke. How about the rum and coke without the rum? <sighs> No, nah, mate. Uh, fuck it. But could I just get a Negroni? Negroni, Negroni, Negroni. Now, what have we got? We've got we've got no Negroni, but we <laughs> You're not do. meant to tell me that. <laughs> we don't have enough um Campari no, no, for you've a Negroni. Got every, you can't let me you don't have anything. You've got to try and convince me. Mate, sorry, I'm actually having a Negroni party once the pub closes with all my friends, but I can give you a Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll put some orange in there. Oh, mate, fuck it. Just get me a vodka soda. Okay, that one I can do, minus the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I'll add, I'll throw in some extra lime, maybe a bit of cucumber, kid, <laughs> if you're lucky. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I like it. Oh, I like it. <sighs> Got chilies hair all over me. Poopy. 
you're a witch in some magical land and you've created a song about how much you hate the elves in all the land. The song is called I Hate Elves. <laughs> I'm a witch, I'm a witch who has taken over the land. A witch who hates all the elves with little hands. A witch, a witch, people call me mean, but sometimes I am the colour green. I hate elves, I hate them with all my blood. I want to eat them and shove them in mud. I'm a witch, I'm a witch who hates all the elves, and I'm gonna turn them into little spells. That was very good. Oh, oh I'm a witch. Hand gestures. <laughs> Bear with us. You're shocking. We'll make that a real. No, you won't, Ken. So you can see the hand gestures of that. There was a lot of uh, thriller about that. There was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm a, a witch. I'm a witch and I hate all the elves. <laughs> Quite good rhyming from me. It's really good. Yeah. Every time I thought you were going to fuck up. I bought it back, oh, Ken. You bought it back. I like that one a lot. Um, you're a Polish war veteran telling the most insane war story but in a very, very serious tone. This is not funny. You're a Polish as well, by the way. Remember? But obviously it wouldn't be funny. I know. you got to tell that story, Lou. This is characters, mate. You want to become a fucking actor. I want to see some fucking range out of you. It's not all I'm a witch, I'm a witch. Show me the spells, all right? <laughs> It uh, takes it uh, takes me back to 1944, and it was 3 a.m. and I believe the first grenade hit. Grenade. <laughs> 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 Don't make me laugh. Bring it, bring it back, sorry, kid. Sorry. Bring it back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was me and Bob, and Bob, Bob. the grenade hit, and it hit Bob's leg, and. That blood hit all over my face, and I, I got out my forty-four nine-nine gun, <laughs> and I thought, I'm not, I'm not letting Bob die like this. So I, I ran. I jumped over the potato sacks, and I ran straight for the. Went German. I went straight for the. <laughs> you switched allegiances. The <laughs> army <Bob>. tanker, <laughs> and I hit the gas bowl. And it <laughs> it blew up, it blew up, and that is how I single-handedly uh. saved <coughs> Bob's life. Oh. Oh, Oscar-winning, Oscar-winning stuff there. Love that uh, an enemy tank has something called the gas bowl on the outside of it, which just seems like a tremendous weakness for something that's <laughs> so, it's all a, about being well protected. And I saved Bob's life with that shoot. Yeah, Bob, a traditional Polish name. Mm -hmm. Bob <laughs> Not that I know what a fucking Bob Polish name would be. Bob Skandervogen. Uh, that sounds right to me. Yeah. When the first grenade hit was also oh, phenomenal. When the first grenade <laughs> the hit. Name of the podcast, when like, the first, first grenade, grenade hit. hit. Yeah. Because it's oh. like, that's not the first thing that happened. Like, you know, it's going to be like artillery Shelling or something like nope. that. Not just it's like not some cunt that's just pegged a grenade at you. When the first it's not grenade, what happened to Bob. <laughs> nothing else has happened. He's just thrown one grenade. Okay, give me one more and then we'll hit the hottie. <sighs> okay. You don't want to hit me, do you? <laughs> Check. Okay. You're a blind Seventh-day Adventist. And whilst trying to preach the word of God door to door, many awkward things happen due to your blindness. Let's see where your brain goes. Do you want me to be the door knocker? The, the person that opens the door? Okay. Okay. I'll knock. Oh, g'day, mate. I don't even have my eyes closed, do I? You can do what you want. If you want to get method with it, yeah. Okay. Go, go blind. Okay, I'll close yep. my eyes. G'day. How can I help you? Hey, mate. <laughs> I'm just here to... Sorry, mate. I'm over here. Right, sorry. Oh, other way. Hey mate, I'm just here to and one more get you to. There we go. Looking at me. Come to our church group on Friday evenings. <laughs> <laughs> this feels really not, not right. You're playing a character. Well, you can't play a blind character. Okay. Let's get with it. You're a fucking actor. Get okay. in. Get with the character. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, mate. 
we do a church group on Friday evenings. Uh, we have like fizzy drink, <laughs> uh, Pringles, and we go around and we each read a passage from the Bible. Mate, sorry, I'm going to be honest. You're in my garage. Right. That. Oh, am I on a? Am I on your truck? You are literally. You're literally on my side by side at the moment, mate. I'm right. ten meters this way. Right, sorry, coming, coming. Oh, sorry, I think I just that's touched my, your bicep. That's my wife's breast. I'm so sorry. I'll that's move, fine. I'll move my hand. Oh. That is her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that character's done. That character's done. You kept moving your hand. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I like that character. I think there's a lot of, a lot of potential in that one. I think Bob Polkowski was pretty good. Polkovich, yeah. Okay, put your headphones on. It's time for the hotline. I'm a witch. I'm a witch. Bedwetters, if you haven't already, I mean, one. it's been called the eighth wonder of the world, and that is, Louisa, as you know, our Patreon. Now, if you guys want to become a super soaker and send your own, we had a few super soakers at our shows recently, and they said, it's the best decision I've ever made. It's changed my life. It's been compared to the Mona Lisa. Correct. They, they've they actually said that even though they're spending $2.50 a week, somehow they're getting richer from uh, being in the Patreon. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether they meant monetarily or whether they went their souls are enriched. I think also um, in terms of smartness. The intelligence is certainly yes. increasing. So not only are they getting more money, and their their souls smarter. are richer, their wallets are richer, and they're getting their brains are richer, which is crazy. It's wild. So join us on the Patreon. Come and join us on Patreon become and become a, a super, super soaker. soaking senorita. <laughs> <laughs> Jinkies. Oh, Jinky. Sorry, I was. I honestly. You guys just, checked out. No, I just. Oh, I, I, think I, 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 fell asleep. I admire that fucking shot. What shot? So much. The Golden Goose shoes. No, the fucking gun shot. The Golden Goose shoes as well. I don't know why you're talking about Golden Gooses. Well, uh, speaking of, it's... Oh, for fuck's sake. Jingle for the hotline. My birthday and exactly a it's month. It's a hotline time with a hotline Golden Gooses guy. on sale at the moment. <laughs> Sweet, it only cost me an arm, not a fucking arm and a leg. They're $400 off. Jesus. They should be fucking... Eight How much do you think that big barrel cost? No, actually, you know what? Do as you please. Oh, guilt trip. <laughs> Fuck me. Okie doke, hot lines. Holy boys and number sucks. Um, got a red light, green light for you. It's been driving me crazy lately. Um, people who call up the hotline and tell us, oh, I haven't heard my name on the radio yet because, or the podcast yet, because I've called up seven or fucking eight times. No one gives a single fuck how many times you've called up. Anyway, that's red from me if you can't tell. Anyway, bye, Josh. Love you. See you, oh, mate. Love you too. What about me? <laughs> love you too. It's funny. Also, get the fuck off speakerphone. I love that speak. It sounded so natural and uh, beautiful. <laughs> mate, I get people yelling at me at pubs, being like, I fucking called up this many times. I'm like, brother, do you know how many fucking hotlines yeah. Willie gets? I know. It, like, you know, you'll get Who there eventually. Count, guys? But, you Keep know. calling and keep pissing. Keep calling, keep pissing, and guess what? <laughs> keep ki uh, kissing. kissing. Oh, Kate. Yeah. The way's up, Jarchi. Big Willy. Oh. I am fucking rattled. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck in traffic oh. on the M1 in Brisbane, and I just pissed the car. I just pissed my pants. I don't know what to do. I'm fucking rattled. I am literally about to head to a customer's house and give them a bathroom renovation quote, and no, I, not, I don't know what to do. Should I continue with the quote? Like, I'm, I'm a plumber. Like, I can pass. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, no, just from a job earlier today, but, like, the entire car just reeks of, like, fucking piss. piss. And, oh, God, I don't know what to do. I do. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why am I even telling you guys this? This is disgusting. Oh, I, fuck, I don't know. Love you, bye. Love you, mate. I'll tell you why you're telling us this. Because <clears throat> this is our fucking forte. I'll tell you exactly what you do. You go to that quote, stinking a piss. You're a plumber, as you said. You play it off. You go, bit of a rough job, this last one. Okay. You jump back in that piss-stained ah. seat, <clears throat> you know? 
You piss pretend every- the toilet pipe <coughs> went everywhere. Exactly it right. Piss. That's what you do. Then you get back in that piss staying you to yours. You drive home. You let that sucker dry out with the sun. Leave the windows up. That glass is going to dry it out. Yeah, it might leave a little bit of stench in the cab. Who gives a fuck? And I'll tell you what you do. You get two tins of Glen 20. <clears throat> and you Glen 20 the fuck out of that seat. And everything else. You just Glen 20 the life out of it. That cab will be brand new. Get a little air freshener. That thing's like fucking good as new. Don't change your pants either. Keep the pants Keep on. the weddies Keep on. Keep the pissy pants on. That's what you do. Sounds like there's a couple of faulty female unions and they didn't have enough camel cum to fix everything. Jackpot. Sorry? That's plumbing term. You weren't here. We did some plumbing <laughs> term, Jack. <laughs> nice, Definitely dude. needed some camel cum for and, that one. And people say this isn't an educational podcast. Oh, we Look learned. at our fucking plumber king over here. We learned a lot from Wumps. Oh, pling. Shout out to Wumps. He did the plumbing terms. Yeah. Plums. Very good. And they're overtly sexual, a lot of them. Yeah. Well, camel cum sounds it's like a, a lot like camel cum. Gas cock is another. Gas cock sounds like... Something else. Like a gassy cock. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> what is that, liquid mud? Louisa Claire Dalby. I've oh. got a bone to pick with you. You... Oh, dear. I think you might be giving us a little bit of a trickster. Oh. That's not how sentences work. I think you're tricking us. Oh. You sang one of your most appalling attempts uh, for the summer come out tomorrow. Um, oh, truly, truly horrific stuff. Um, <laughs> could not find the key for almost the, same the videos, entire maybe. song. Uh, but then the final, the final tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you See? tomorrow. All of a sudden, you were in the pocket, sister. So, tell me this, mummy. I can be my mummy and my sister, but you are. Tell me this, mummy. How is it? that in the last bit of the song, all of a sudden you could not be more spot on correct with your notes, and the rest of the song you got no fucking idea. I think someone's saying maybe a cheeky bit of a senorita, and perhaps you're actually a singing extraordinaire for the ages. Well, probably not, but it's a thought. And, and you know, I was thinking also that it's not it's not about, but the... Yeah. Um, I agree. It's not... What you you're lose okay. and it's how you you're, you're win right. the game. Yep. Atta We've girl. always said it's that. Had a girl. Now, you were much longer than 45 seconds, is my main thing. And you were definitely on speakerphone. But you're actually wrong. I'm in tone all the time. I just, that song has been one of my songs since about eight. And I've always nailed the last bit. Fucking hell. I'll tell you exactly what it's happened, darling. What? You have, not you, darling, darling on the phone. You're tone deaf. Jack. Soz, not soz. Some people are. Some people got it. No. Some people don't. You don't got the I tone, baby. I sang Valerie baby. on stage a little bit. I wasn't too bad. Louisa. Okay. Maddie was singing Valerie. I sang a bit of beautifully, it. Beautifully. And then when you jumped in, right. you right. know what happened. Okay, next one, Willie. You heard yourself with her beautiful Oopies. voice. And assumed that was... <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff, kid. I'm happy with it. Hi, Lou, Judge, and Willie. I'm really? Michelle, a longtime bedwetter from Perth. I just recently started seeing this guy who's about two decades older than me. So I'm trying to introduce him to everything I love, and that included you guys. So I sent him a link to one of your podcast videos on YouTube, and this is the voice memo that I got from him oh, in no. response. Oh, no. What is the context of this YouTube? <laughs> First five minutes I hear about cock. And some koala called Kevin. <laughs> is, it, is it getting something? I feel like that perfectly that sums is. up your guys' podcast. What is the context of this video? Cock and Kevin, some koala called Kevin. <laughs> what is the context of this video? Oh, oh that's the best one. Oh, I've that's funny. That is fucking unreal. <laughs> <laughs> what is the context? So we're talking about cock. First five minutes talking about cock and some. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's he's dead right. He's though. yeah, inadvertently just nailed the fucking hat. He's, what he's is the context it. of this? He's hit it on the head. Oh, okay. Okay, one more, please, Willie. Oh, okay. Spider Man. Demon. This one's nice and quick. I love that fucking polo. Could you please bring out some Wee Men while Pudgy Smugglers? Keep guessing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good shout. 
You want Real to get good the, chat. You want to get the rump out? Oh, Louise. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's just inappropriate. I think that's that could a great be shout. arranged. Yeah. We've got contacts of Budgie. Yeah. That's a good idea. Felix, on to it. They comment Summer. on our posts every now and again as well. Yeah, so. I did the live stream with the the boys who owned it for Ned Brockman. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. That's going to happen. Yeah. Budgie wudgies. Budgie. Okay, thanks, little sweet Super Soakers. See you Friday this is, at the forum. We're about to see the Super Soakers. Oh, sorry, sorry. This is the Bedwetters. Super Soakers will see you soon on the Patreon. And we'll hopefully see you in Melbourne at the forum the 25th of October, now, Friday evening. Now, what's the forum nicknamed after them? Wampy. Come on, come on, Okay, we love, love the lot of you. Hey, <laughs> Crow. Catch ya. See you when we're looking at you.